Miss Franzi Brown Wright, how are you today? I'm doing very, very well, Mr. Frazier. What about yourself? I am super fine. And I'll call you to inform you that the Village of Hope Incorporation here in this city, who's chaired by me, has chosen you as one of the awardees of the Amelia Boynton Robinson's Legacy Award for 2018. Okay, well that, that's very, very thoughtful. Thank you. All right, now we have a process here whereas every year five to six awards are given to people who's worthy of the kind of lifestyle and commitment to society that reflects the legacy of Queen Mother Amelia Boynton Robinson. And our board member, Sharon Hill, recommended you because she felt that you were one of those worthy people. So what say ye? Well, first of all, uh, Mr. Frazier, um, and to Ms. Hill as well, um, I'm delighted and honored to even be considered to um, receive the award from Queen Mother Amelia Boynton Robinson. Um, the Legacy Award in her honor uh, certainly makes me proud to even be proud of and considered to stand in the shoes of such a great woman. Um, and as you know, you and I have worked together in the Dayton, Ohio community. You could I live, because we both live there. And Sharon Hill is like a granddaughter, a daughter to me, uh, because I know of her work. Um, uh, I know of her work and what she's doing to try and elevate uh, humankind. And so starting to be just considered to be thought of to receive such a prestigious award in honor of Queen Mother, it's a, I almost don't have the words to even say. I regret that I cannot be with you personally because I'm speaking for another event that same evening at six o'clock. And so certainly just to, again, to be thought of, to be recognized uh, as a trailblazer, as a foot soldier, as I refer to myself, is, is humbling, and I'm honored to certainly accept uh, the recommendation of Ms. Sharon Hill to your group. Okay, that is super fine. Now let me ask you this. How is life in Mississippi as compared to life in Dayton, Ohio? Well, as you know, in every city, in every state, we have our challenges, but that's why we have to remain diligent, we have to remain committed, and we have to remain uh, focused on the purposes for which drew us into these movements. And so there's some, some successes, and there are some things that are not so successful. But those of us who understand why we must be involved must continue to be engaged in this what we call movement. Because if we don't, then we cannot blame uh, situations. When situations occur, we can't blame other people by our dilemmas. Absolutely true. What are you doing these days? Well, I'm still teaching, still lecturing, uh, still pr promoting my book, um, and have the opportunity to work with college and university students, high school students, women's groups, church groups, to just continue to tell the story. And as a matter of fact, I see that Mother Boynton uh, would have been 113, and tomorrow I'll be 76, and I'm still, as you say, on the beating path. Well, that is great, and it's my pleasure to inform you of this award, and um, I know Queen Mother would be very satisfied uh, knowing your background and knowing that the board has this kind of confidence in you. So we will make sure that this award get to you in form of a plaque, and want you to keep on just doing what you are doing and know that we love, trust, and respect you seriously. And I encourage you all to do the same. Um, I see Ms. Hill on Facebook and you too, and your wife, my dear friend Bernice, on Facebook periodically. And I see the great things you all are doing. And keep up the good work because it's the people like us who understand clearly the vision and the mission of our people. We must keep 
our history alive. And you're doing a great job at that. And I thank you. And thank you so much for this opportunity. Bye now. Okay, bye-bye.